So the very first thing to do is going to be to find an image. So let's go ahead and get in the internet. And we can look for basically any image. Now to keep it along with um, the Andy Warhol concept, then obviously we're going to put something that is related to Andy Warhol. So let's go ahead and do Campbell Soup. There you go. Oh, there he goes. And make sure that it's black and white. You really want to make sure that it's black and white. So we're going to look, click on images. And then we're going to look for one that has a complete white background. This one would work. Now I'll just get this information there. This one will work as well. And then you're going to copy the image. The next step is going to be to open a print program. So let's go ahead and look for print or a paint program, I mean. Right here. And then we're going to paste the can. Perfect. Now, one thing that's very important to do is that if we were to print this as is, when we print it, the image or the um, uh, letters are going to be backwards. So an important thing to do is to make sure that you rotate the image. So you're going to flip it horizontally. Now for us right now, it reads backwards, but once we print it, it's going to look the right way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to make four prints. All right. So the next step is going to be to cut our prints. So here's our prints, right? They're backwards. And we're just going to go ahead and cut the paper. All right, for the next step, we're gonna be using the acetone, okay? So for the next step, we're gonna be using the acetone. Make sure that you protect your hands, so go ahead and put a rubber glove on. If you wanna put one in both hands, it's fine, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna do the hands gonna be exposed to the acetone. All right, so this is very important. The important thing is that you saturate a cotton swab or a piece of paper, either or you can do this, or you can use this, either or is fine, right? Either or is fine. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use this just so that just in case you don't have cotton around, you can see that it also works very well with this. So just go ahead and take the piece of paper and then saturate that paper towel. And the next thing you want to do is you're going to put a lot of pressure as you varnish basically the image into the paper. So just nice and easy, nice pressure all the way down. Okay. If for any reason you feel that this is getting dry, which we will, then you just add a little bit more and just continue to transfer your image. There we go. Perfect. And then you should have the image transfer. Now we can just start having fun with color and the watercolors. Now, as you notice, some of the prints didn't come out as strong as the other ones, and that's perfectly fine. But let's see, let's see. 
we can do some red. 